Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Preparation video for September 19th, 2019. So yesterday we got the FOMC decision out of the way, cut rates by a quarter percent. During the night, kind of interesting, here in the U.S. we're cutting rates because of presumed economic slowdown around the world, but the Bank of Japan chose to hold rates steady. Bank of England this morning, facing Brexit uncertainty, chose to hold rates steady. Kind of interesting how um, we seem to be trying to manage the global economy here from the U.S. Uh, Powell also pointed to relatively strong, um, actually uh, quite strong economic numbers uh, suggesting that the market will work itself out of these uh, this situation. Um, and also keep in mind, um, the market wanted more. They wanted an, an assurance that there was going to be at least one more rate cut this year, maybe two. And they didn't get that with uh, three dissenting votes on the FOMC. So yesterday we had some really interesting price action that actually created a bullish pattern here on the chart. If we take a look at our chart here, there we go. Have a nice little trend, this nice pullback that came into play. Boy, we tried to push down pretty hard yesterday and ended up um, with a bit of a short squeeze yesterday afternoon as they pushed us back up really, really sharply, bouncing um, uh, really hard at the uh, by the end of the day. Now, this morning we seem to be with futures being just slightly lower. We're, we seem to still be just a bit disappointed that we didn't get all the sugar we'd hoped for um, in the FOMC. So a little bit of dip showing this morning ahead of a big day on the economic calendar. So we'll have to wait and see. Now, right now, as I'm as I'm speaking, we're only down 45 points in the Dow, but we have been down 65 plus and bouncing around so we're getting that morning pump going on and I don't know if we're gonna stay down or if we'll find a way to pump this back up because I think what what really is going here um, markets the institutions really want they want that headline up here that we may do record highs that everything is copacetic they get they can draw more money into the market when everyone feels that warm and fuzzy feeling that hey the market's just going to go higher so let's watch that pretty closely I would suspect getting this close to making that happen can't imagine they're not going to work for that but one thing we do have to kind of keep in mind is that possibility that this could end up being a double top high if if we can't break through so we have to keep that in our uh, in the back of our mind that that could be a possibility here certainly hope that's not the case but um, there we are we have that to deal with so, so what comes next? I think that's what everyone's wondering. What, what's the next shoe to fall? What comes next? Is it going to be a retaliatory attack on Iran? Maybe. Is it going to be uh, something going on over in the UK and the Brexit that causes problems? Will it be the uh, beginning of um, negotiations between US and China around the first of next month? Will it be um, the tariffs coming, um, scheduled tariffs coming the middle of next month. Will it be the next round of earnings scheduled to begin next month? Boy, we have still a lot of uncertainty to, to deal with in this market, and who knows where we go from here. Um, what we have to do as traders is focus on the price action and trade what we see in that price action. And right now, I see a bullish uh, pattern here on the chart. This nice little resting pullback and that opportunity to move higher. That's the chart I have to trade at the moment here on the Dow. However, if those bears were to take over and start pushing down, I think if they were to break this down below that low of yesterday, then a test of the 50-day moving average or in that area would be very likely. So um, having not tested it after breaking back through it, um, 
leaves that open door uh, for that possible bearish move to test that as support. Let's take a look at the SPY. SPY doing very much the same thing. Had that ugly little pullback yesterday and looked like we were going to head lower that initial reaction. And then they, they fired off that intraday short squeeze that really bounced us higher really, really quickly. And this morning we're showing um, SPY, just showing a little bit of bearishness this morning on the open, wanting to pull back a little tiny bit. And once again, wanting to pop on through. Now we've had, we've broken out before. We broke into all time high, new record high prints in the SPY, but we've not been able to hold those um, as a, a new record high close. So um, that push forward um, certainly looks like a possibility in this chart. Our trend is here. We have a good potential entry or a good potential pattern in here to push us higher, holding across this support area. So um, looks to me like that's where we're going, uh, at least right now in the charts. Let's take a look at the cues. Cues also big, big squeeze yesterday. Um, they gathered up a whole bunch of shorts um, on that trade. Uh, let me show you a quick intraday chart. They gathered up a whole bunch of shorts and then fired off this short squeeze, squeezing all of those shorts out and forcing the market even just a little bit higher. So pretty interesting pattern. Um, big old tail on that candle. And right now, just a little teeny tiny bit of bearishness this morning here on the queues. And that bit of disappointment that they get, didn't get everything that they wanted um, in that report. Now, you can see the queues has a lot more work to do. Um, there is a, a fairly substantial move to reach up here. As a matter of fact, this could officially be called that double top high where we failed to get up there. We ran up and challenged and failed to get up through there. But we are holding this upside trend. So it's kind of that double edge. Um, anything is possible right here, but I think the overall markets are really wanting to see that upside move. Um, uh, again, if those bears come in and test, watch this level right in here on the 50 day moving average for support. Let's take a look at IWM. I gotta tell you, IWM has been really, really surprising to me how we went from just being um, downright pathetic to all of a sudden everybody wants to be an IWM or at least institutions want to be an IWM and those small caps ro roaring back um, in a big way. So there's a downtrend that we have broken above. And yesterday, if I zoom this up, Yesterday, by holding that downtrend, we came down and tested and holding that downtrend, any buying that comes in here could be um, re relatively interesting, a, a bullish pattern breaking through that downtrend, holding support, and then looking for that upside move. So we'll want to watch that pretty closely. IWM could actually be setting up for some of that bullish move. We will have to pay attention to this resistance right across in here um, as it rallies back to make sure it can pop through these resistance levels as um, you know it wants to go up, but we'll watch that pretty close. Let's take a look at the VIX. <clears throat> the VIX, very interesting chart to me. Um, with all the uncertainty out there in the market that I mentioned earlier, there's just no fear. And uh, I've mentioned that several times before. So we've come back down here, we've tested this level. Yesterday we had that spike of fear that pushed us right back up here into that price resistance level that I've been talking about. And then uh, completely reversed it on that little short squeeze that they triggered yesterday. So uh, futures being uh, slightly down this morning, we might expect this to show a little tiny kick up, but if those bulls come in and continue to fight and push and, and drive hard um, as the economic numbers come in today, we'll have to wait and see, then uh, we could continue to see this fear so sink away. There just seems to be no fear overall um, in the market. So watch that close. T2122, is one of my concerns, um, probably one of my major concerns in the market is that we are still sitting up here in this very stretched out position where we've we moved up so far and um, really haven't had a good successful test of support. 
So that puts us in a short-term overbought condition. Now we can stay in those overbought conditions for a while. I've been pointing that out uh, multiple times, how we can stay in that overbought condition for a while. But um, right now, T2122 does have room for upside moves, so we could move to the upside. But let's keep in mind, there is a big, deep open hole here. Um, if those bears start taking over, we start breaking support levels. There could be um, lots of lots of potential pullback here in the market. So let's kind of keep that in mind and just go in and trade, trade with your eyes wide open that we're in a very interesting situation in the market as we're testing new highs with all of this uncertainty that we face. So kind of an uncharted water uh, place here. So just always be on your toes and go in uh, to any trade with your eyes wide open. Um, because I, I just suspect the, the weeks ahead are going to be as equally challenging as those weeks that we just came through. Let's take a look at um, our economic calendar for today. It does have a few things to say about what's going to happen in the market today. We have jobless claims at 8.30 this morning. Obviously, that can move the market around a little bit. Also at 8.30, uh, we've got the Philly Fed. Uh, current account is unlikely to do anything or have any effect on the market at all. But then at 10 o'clock, existing home sales uh, comes out. That, of course, can move the market around. We saw that big, huge increase in housing starts um, here the other day. That moved up all of those uh, housing builders, material suppliers, things like that. So if we're continuing to see really strong housing numbers, um, that could move the market around as well. We have the natural gas report, un unlikely to move the market, and the Fed balance sheet, unlikely to move the market around. And just a whole bunch of bond announcements and auctions, though, um, heading forward. So that's about it on the calendar today. We have on the earnings calendar only 11 companies reporting earnings. Um, uh, none that I would say uh, are you know, super, super notable. Um, and maybe Darden, um, Darden restaurant reporting this morning looks like it's gapping a little bit lower here on its report. Um, and Darden may be one of the most uh, notable, um, JRJC, um, also reporting, but being a penny stock down here, don't think that's going to have much of any effect on the market. So, <clears throat> you know, just, um, not a whole lot on the earnings calendar to really move the market around, which leaves us a little bit more to those news events and the news spin and keeps that uh, that news driven market with really whippy price action still in our face. So watch that closely. <clears throat> so with that, everyone, hey. I want to wish you all a great day, and I'm hopeful, I'm really hopeful that we're going to see this market um, shape itself up and, and, and keep moving. I certainly would not hold my breath for that um, at this point, and I am not going to be rushing into any trades right now as we're testing these all-time highs here in the market. But there are good charts out there to be paying attention to, really good price patterns. and so. Um, to give you a few of those charts right now, first, I, I want to make uh, mention of this, that um, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, hopefully you have found this video to be useful and helpful. There's no prediction. I do not try to predict um, in these videos. And um, I try to avoid all of the hype that you hear in so many um, of the other places and just really focus in on the technicals of the charts, the things that are affecting the market and could be affecting uh, the thought process of the market so that you can be better prepared for the day. And if you feel that um, has been worthy, please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also, click that bell icon to make sure you get notified. Um, when I post one of these videos.
now more than 600 videos on YouTube and thank you to everyone who does um, um, subscribe and follow along also please do me a favor and click that thumbs up button leave a comment and if you feel the video is worthy please always feel free to share these videos with any friends or family thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that it helps it helps um, the growth of the channel you guys are awesome and we just went over 7,000 subscribers today thank you guys that's all on you and I truly truly appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to do that you guys are the best so with that <clears throat> Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Stocks that are looking pretty good overall and um, showing signs. Now, I want to remind everyone that every time I show one of these stocks, this is not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. And you should do your evaluation on each and every one of these charts. Let's take a look at CTXS. CTXS, interesting little pattern here. Now, this is a pattern we call a rounded bottom breakout. Rounded bottom breakout is when we break above that 50-day moving average. Stock has been in a massive decline. And all we're really looking for is that move back up here toward that 200 day moving average. And so we have this beautiful little pattern in here. This is a pattern that some people might call a cup and handle pattern with a open gap above. So that open gap pretty much matches our target in this trade and that opportunity to move up into that area. CTXS, nice looking chart and very nice pattern here overall. Um, in that chart to pay attention to. How about John Deere? John Deere looking pretty good here. Now, John Deere has resistance above without a doubt. You can see my price alert on this chart as that stock has moved up in its trend here, moving up in its trend, kind of consolidating over toward its trend, watching this for that opportunity to maybe take this higher. Now, if you're a stock trader only, this might be a little bit difficult looking at maybe just a $5 move for a potential profit in the trade. As an option trader, uh, this uh, obviously looks uh, very tasty uh, as a possible trade, even if the only thing it does is move back up here to this price resistance. So keep a, a, an eye on that. Also, you might want to take a look at Apple. Apple moved up nicely yesterday, struggled a little bit during that FOMC announcement, but ended up finishing the day strong. Apple moving on up in this trend, just running right on up and then getting that resting pullback. Now, don't be too surprised when we have a trend. Um, I'm going to go to a naked chart here. And when we have a trend that shows the stock being uh, starting to move up away from its trend here, don't be all that surprised to see this kind of do a little more of a sideways shuffle back over toward that trend. That could still happen, but um, it's holding up very, very well, looking nice and strong here. And also remember, um, we could just be changing that trend trajectory to here. So watch that, uh, maybe an opportunity um, in that chart. I was watching Costco, have been watching Costco for a while for a potential failure. And um, yesterday we came during the FOMC announcement, we came very close to uh, to this area right here. You can see the tail on this candle. And I thought there may be an opportunity that this may trip to the downside, but nope, the buyer stepped back up. Um, keep an eye on Costco. It has resistance that it's broken here in this chart and what i'm watching for if if we get any kind of a failure in here that would constitute that lower high and that possible failure on down so watch that how about a stock like fe fe utility stocks have been really strong which uh, honestly concerns me just a little bit having so much strength in utility stocks while the market's going up it's more of a safe haven play but utilities are showing uh, lots of strength here moving up that should be on your list nice chart uh, to pay attention to um, as you guys know i brought this chart up yesterday um, all of a sudden just a second i lost it I had it on a list here. There it is. PBYI. PBYI is another one of those rounded bottom breakouts. Now, it took a pullback yesterday. You can see my price alert on this trade. 
I don't know whether this is going to make it up out of here or not, but I'm going to watch this area in here holding above that 50. Notice that that 50 day moving average is flattening out and starting to turn up just a little bit. All we need is those buyers to step up in here to pop that through. And then there may be an opportunity to move up. Um, and if, fairly substantial uh, percentage gain possible in that chart. Take a look at SUM, S-U-M. S-U-M is another one of those trending stocks. Nice little trend, consolidated over toward its trend and is now trying to work itself higher. Might wanna keep an eye on SUM. That's a nice looking chart, a good opportunity in there. Maybe take a look at BABA. BABA has been dealing with this price resistance in this chart. Yesterday really found the energy to follow through after pushing through and holding in this nice trend. BABA is trying to show signs of strength, wanting to move up here. Keep an eye on BABA and put that one on your list. So everyone, I hope that was a good list for you to do something with and kind of evaluate some of those charts. Everyone, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you great profits. And I want to thank everyone for uh, participating with the channel. Very grateful going over 7,000 subscribers today. We are growing. It's, it's slow and steady, but we are growing. And um, you guys clicking those thumbs up and leaving those combat comments are making a huge difference. Thank you. Everyone, take care i wish you the best and we'll see you all right back here bright and early friday morning have a good night